What's going on guys? Uh, welcome to Python Regular Expressions Made Easy Part 17. Uh, in this video we'll be discussing variable width assertions with uh, look behinds. So past few videos we've been going over something called uh, look arounds and some of the videos we, we focused on uh, positive look arounds and then we focused on negative look arounds and the one thing I want you guys to be aware of is uh, some limitations when it comes to look behinds. Um, so that's what this video will be going over. It will go over some limitations. So this is sort of an adjunct to the uh, uh, look around mini series that we've been doing. I'll give you some clear examples as to some of the limitations and how we can work around those limitations. So this will be a, a pretty short video. So let's just get right into it. Um, first thing we're going to do is import RE. Now this string um, is very similar to a string that we use in a couple of videos a couple of videos ago uh, look around videos part one but what I did was just change a few things around made to make it specific for this example so let's just take a look at the uh, pattern and what we're trying to do um, with this regular expression we're trying to look if the second column consists of letters or consists of numbers so we're trying to confirm that this uh, regular expression so if it is indeed the case, what we actually want to output is this um, everything in this bracket. So we want to output either if it's active or inactive. So the look behind that we're using is to check if this of uh, the second row, I mean sorry, the second column has letters or if it has um, numbers. If it has letters, we want to pull it out. If it has numbers, we want to leave it alone. So that's what we're trying to confirm. Now, the one thing I want you guys to be uh, aware of in this case is this uh, plus sign. You guys probably didn't notice this, but in the previous videos, all of our examples revolving around lookarounds used some sort of specific word. We sort of knew the, the length of that word that fit into this um, the lookaround. So whatever fit into this lookaround uh, sub-expression um, always consisted of, uh, of a constant width. So we knew the length of the word or we knew the length of the uh, sub expression but in this case we're using a quantifier so we're essentially saying it could be one or many so the problem with look arounds is that you can't really use quantifiers well not look arounds but look behinds look aheads are okay but when it comes to look behinds we have a problem so the look behinds you cannot use what, what is called a variable with assertion so in this case I've put this plus which is essentially saying one or more um, of A to Z so now let's just run this. If I run this, you're going to see again an error. Okay. And if you scroll all the way down, we'll see that error look behind requires fixed width pattern. Okay. So that's what I want to say fixed width pattern. In the earlier examples in the previous videos, we were using uh, fixed width patterns. But in this case, I made an example specific just to show you guys this error. Um, we're using a variable width pattern. So this pattern could be uh, one letter, two letters, it could be uh, one or more. So this is a problem when it comes to look behind when using the uh, Python built-in uh, regular expression. So there's actually some uh, a way around this and, and that's by importing a module called regx. So I think that's how you pronounce it, regx or regx, uh, regx probably. So that's not built in so I think you have to install it. Yeah, so let me just get uh, rid of this and this is the module so regex and this is actually a lot more powerful than the built-in python regular expression uh, module so there's a lot more you can do with this um, i'm still exploring some of the things you could do with the uh, reg uh, regex but for this case it's very useful because we could actually use um, variable width assertions with look behind let me just import this and you're going to see it's the same exact pattern as above but instead of using re.compile, I'm using regex.compile. So it's essentially the same module, it's just it has some added benefits. So if I run this, uh, so the pattern saved. Now if I run this R, uh, regex find all, let's see. A string is not defined. So let me just define the string. Okay. So let's just run this. And here we go. So we pull out. So we pull out the digits, yeah. So essentially I wanted to pull out the uh, digits, not active or inactive, sorry. I'm gonna A to Z, then space, and then the digits, okay. So what we're doing is pulling out the digits of anything that's uh, satisfied by this um, regular expression. If they hold uh, letters, we're going to pull out the, uh, the numbers associated with the letters. 
So yeah, so 777-888-XXX, 777-888-XXX. And these are all associated with the uh, letters in the second column. So A, B, C, C, A, B, C, X, Y, Z. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I wanted to show. Um, this whole variable with assertion, um, if you try to do this with, R, with the RE module, you run into, of course, an error. So let's just get out of this. And if you use regex, find all, you won't have this problem. So that's one of the benefits of uh, installing regex. Okay. All right, here's another example. So in this case, we have a system uh, S1, S2, S3. So we have four different strings. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to pull out any path that does not have system 32 within it. So um, ideally, I'm looking for the calculator, calc.exe, but I want to make sure through um, look behinds that system 32 is not uh, included within the path. So S1, S2, S3, S4, we're going to go through all four, and we just want to pull out the path that, ha that does not include uh, system 32. So let me just run this string. Okay, so that's done. So let's just take a, a look at this regular expression and, oops, okay, so this should be calc.exe. Sorry, I was experimenting with something. And yeah, so actually this is also incorrect for my example. Um, this should be calc, well, actually we don't need this, but whatever. All right, so let's take a look, uh, a close look at this regular expression. Um, essentially, we don't want system32 included in our path. And now what's the reason for including this is that, um, remember this is a look behind, right? So sometimes it's not just system 32, like in this case, it's also a bunch of other letters that we don't want. So, so in this case, we're using the uh, re.compile, the built-in or regular expression. And if I run this, once again, we get the same error, which is, um, yeah, look behind requires fixed with pattern, okay? So let me just uh, close this or clear this and now it's the same pattern as above and if I run this yeah so we have no problem here if I run this let me run that once again okay since this is uh yeah this was just me experimenting things so let me just get rid of that all right so now we're going to use a regex find all pattern um, and let's just start off with s first okay s nothing because there's system 32 S2, uh, nothing, because there's system32. Now S3 should also return nothing because there's uh, system32. Run this, nothing. And now S4, since there's no system32, we should be getting back uh, calc.exe. Calc okay, so if I run this, we get calc.exe. So once again, uh, this was just to show you guys that uh, using RE, the built-in regular expression, we can't use uh, variable with assertion, but when it comes to regex, we can use uh, variable with asser assertion. So that's it, yeah. So this was a, a pretty quick video. I just wanted to go over some of the limitations of look behinds, and this pretty much wraps up everything, um, some of the basic stuff and some of the more advanced stuff on uh, Python regular expressions. There's a couple of more things I could go over. I might make some future videos. If you guys want me to go over anything in particular with regular expressions, let me know there's certain examples you want me to come up with or if there's something I, I looked over um, just let me know in the comment section that you guys want me to go over within Python regular expressions if not this pretty much wraps up most of the basics and some of the more advanced stuff with Python regular expressions I usually try to do I try to release a video uh, once a week but I've been really busy uh, recently um, working on some projects so been a couple of uh, weeks since uh, my last videos. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what the next topic I want to go over. I might release some videos on computer vision, TensorFlow, that's the stuff I'm doing now, and some more on web scraping maybe, I'm not really sure. If you guys have any suggestions, uh, just let me know in the comment section. Alright, so that's it with this video. I will see you guys next time.